Let's look at second order reactions. There are two types of second order reactions. One, we have rate expression of this form. So it's second order in a single reactant. The other would have this form. First order in reactant A and second order in reactant B, but the total reaction order is one plus one or two. So this was also a second order reaction. We'll consider just the first type of second order reactions, that in a single reactant. So we have two equations for the rate. We have the change in the concentration of A with respect to time. We use a negative sign so the rate will be positive. And that is also equal to the rate constant times the concentration of A raised to the second power. So we can set these two equal to each other and we can isolate variables like we did with the first order reaction and we can easily integrate this expression. So I will integrate from zero, time zero, to time t and at time zero the concentration of A is the initial amount and at time t the concentration of A is just the concentration of A. Now this integral is going to be equal to negative 1 over concentration of A evaluated at A naught to A and this is equal to minus K T evaluated from 0 to T. So when I put in my integration limits, I will get the following expression. Make that a little more square. So this is the integrated rate expression for a second order reaction in a single reactant. And you have the initial amount of the reactant A and at time T you have the amount of A that's left and here we have the rate constant.